South Africa was thrust into the global spotlight after the identification of the Omicron variant of the COVID-19 pandemic. The country was punished severely by being placed on the red list for travel bans. But since then, experts at the forefront of this work say the lessons learned must be that divulging information cannot be viewed as negative and that the discovery of a disease is not bad news. When we quick characterize the Omicron variant of concern, yeah, they decide to close South Africa. And we highlighted then that it would be absolutely ineffective. Not only that, they end up not preparing enough. And the Omicron wave in South Africa was very small. And since then, we didn't have a deadly wave of infection. But Omicron spread everywhere in the world. So the world learned that punishing a country for discovering a pathogen do not stop the pathogen uh, spreading and can do the opposite, can avoid new pathogens to be discovered. Joining the Abbott Pandemic Defense Coalition, South Africa will once more play a vital role in the possible prevention of future diseases. The focus of the coalition is on diseases that might occur as a result of climate change in places where it was not expected. No one institution can do this work alone. We need the expertise of everyone in the group. And so when one site sees something, everyone can help respond. They're not alone and we're working together. During COVID, we got to see how impactful that was. When people were sharing information and helping each other, we were able to make a difference and be able to launch tests faster, develop vaccines faster. And so my hope is this will continue. At over 1.2 billion rand, the new state-of-the-art Biomedical Research Institute of the University of Stellenbosch has some of the most advanced equipment and technology in the world. Housed in the facility, is the Center for Epidemic Response and Innovation's new genomics facility. Here, world leaders in scientific research can detect and help formulate rapid responses to emerging diseases. Currently, work is done, among others, on tuberculosis and the identification and understanding of yet unknown viruses. South Africa has access to the best scientific technology in the world. That was not a short process, that took 20 years of investment, yeah, and that now we can partner with the world to be a scientific leader in the field. And this scientific leadership is important to prevent the next pandemic, which we think that we are one of the best countries in the world to teach the world how to do that. This work on possible future threats as a result of climate change will become increasingly important in a rapidly changing world. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.